let's read the question class if uncertainty in momentum of a moving particle is twice that of the uncertainty in position then uncertainty in the velocity will be the given options are 1 upon m under root h upon 2 pi the next is 1 upon m under root h upon 4 pi the next option is 1 upon m under root h upon 8 pi and the last option is 1 upon m under root h upon 10 pi so class first of all in this question we have to use heisenberg uncertainty principle so i am writing the formula delta p dot delta x greater than equals to h upon 4 pi and class as we are given that uncertainty in momentum is twice that of uncertainty in position so class it is very clear that the value of delta p is equals to twice of delta x so now we can put the value of delta x in the equation it will become delta p upon 2 dot delta p is equals to h upon 4 pi now let's solve the equation delta p square is equals to h upon 2 pi as a result delta p is equals to under root h upon 2 pi plus as it is very clear that delta p is equals to mass into delta v so let's put the value m into delta v is equals to under root h upon 2 pi so the value of delta v becomes 1 upon m under root h upon 2 pi so class this is very clear that the correct answer for this question is option number 1 class let's move to the next question which is question number 77 let's read the question class which of the following species has electronic configuration argon 3d4 the given options are vanadium 2 plus chromium plus manganese 3 plus and fe3 plus class in this question we are also given with the atomic numbers of vanadium chromium manganese and iron which is 23 24 25 and 26 respectively plus in this question we have to analyze that out of the given options which iron has electronic configuration argon 3d4 and for that we have to write the electronic configuration of the given ions so i'm starting with vanadium 2 plus so vanadium 2 plus since it is given the atomic number of vanadium is 23 so the electronic configuration becomes argon 3d1 since 2 plus represents that two electrons from the 4s orbital has been removed next let's consider chromium plus since the atomic number of chromium is 24 which is already given so electronic configuration will be argon 3d5 since in case of chromium plus one electron has been removed from the 4s orbital next let us consider mn 3 plus which is argon 3d4 since it is given that the atomic number of mn is 25 and three electrons have been removed and those three electrons are removed from 4s orbital and 3d orbitals two electrons from the 4s orbital and one electron from the 3d orbital so the left electronic configuration will be argon 3d4 next let us consider fe3 plus class we are already given with the atomic number of fe which is 26 so the electronic configuration will be argon 3d5 since 3 plus represents that three electron have been lost two electrons from 4s orbital and one electron from 3d orbital so the left electronic configuration will be argon 3d5 so class in this question we are given with electronic configuration argon 3d4 so the correct answer is manganese 3 plus that is option number 3 class let's move to the next question which is question number 78 let's read the question class maximum number of spectral lines obtained when electrons in hydrogen atom sample de-excite from fourth excited state to the ground state the given options are 15 10 8 and 6 class in this question first of all we are given with hydrogen atom sample and the electrons are de-excited from fourth excited state that means the value of n is equals to 
5 class there is a formula to calculate maximum number of spectral lines obtained i am writing the formula maximum number of spectral lines is equals to n n minus 1 upon 2 class as we are already given with the value of n which is 5 so let's calculate 5 5 minus 1 upon 2 that means 20 upon 2 that means 10 so it is very clear that the maximum number of spectral lines obtained when electrons in hydrogen atom sample de excites from the fourth excited state to ground state is 10 So the correct answer for this question is option number two. Class, let's move to the next question, which is question number seventy-nine. Let's read the question, class. If the radius of the first orbit of hydrogen atom is a angstrom, then the radius of second orbit of lithium two plus ion will be. The given options are four upon three a angstrom, one upon three a angstrom. The next is. 2 upon 3 a angstrom. The last option is 2 a angstrom. So, class, let's solve the question. Radius of nth orbit directly proportional to n square upon z, where z is the atomic number. So, let's start with the first orbit of hydrogen atom, which is directly proportional to 1 square upon 1, because the atomic number of hydrogen is 1. Now, let's consider the radius of second orbit of Li. 2 plus, which is directly proportional to 2 square upon 3, since the atomic number of lithium is 3. So now let's consider radius of first orbit of hydrogen atom upon radius of second orbit of lithium ion, which is equals to 1 upon 4 upon 3. Since we are given with the radius of first orbit of hydrogen, which is a angstrom, so the value of Second orbit of lithium ion can be calculated as four upon three a angstrom. So the correct answer for this question is option number one. Class, let's move to the next question, which is question number eighty. Let's read the question, class. The element with highest electronegativity belongs to. The given options are period third and group sixteenth. The next is period third and group seventeenth. The next option is period second and group sixteenth. The last option is period second and group seventeenth. Class, first of all, we need to know that fluorine is the highest electronegative element in the entire periodic table, and fluorine belongs to second period and seventeenth group. So the correct answer for this question is option number four. Class, let's move to the next question, which is question number eighty-one. 